Guys, look, we pull up and there's two Lindas right there waiting for us. <laughs> it's not really Lindas. They're, um... Zeppelin? Yeah, Zeppelin and... As well. Is it Snickers or... Oh, I, no, it's not Snickers. It's not Snickers? We're not sure. Zeppelin's the one that always follows me. Yeah, Zeppelin is the one with the floppier. Do you see the floppier comb? She's cleaning herself right now. Hello, how are you? Not good, I lost my hat. <laughs> but I'm Rachel. I'm Carl, and we're Happy's family. Yes, thank you for watching. So as you can see, everything's wet, and we didn't have much to do today. But we have a lot to do tonight and tomorrow because we have hundreds of plants to bring in because there is a freeze coming, right? Yeah. So I guess tonight it's only supposed to get down to about 35. 33, 33 oh. or 34, I think, okay. so... And then um, tomorrow is like really cold. 24, 21 with a wind chill of like 14, 13. So yeah. we're bringing everything in the house. Everything. Even in. the peach trees. Well, and we actually even have um, a client's azalea plant. And we have to go pick up the other client that we were in the middle of their landscape. We want to go pick up the smaller plantings because we are not in business to plant plantings that don't look no. very good and with a freeze with a hard freeze like we're gonna it will get, kill them yeah so we don't want to do that but since we're not going to have a video of us doing anything we want to show you something that a company new air sent us yes in our garage and we're going to purpose it for something else too down the road right yeah so we're very ex excited to um share this new air product with you and we will have a link and we actually have a code for you guys to get 10 percent off if you do want to purchase this product um it's happy h-a-p-p-y <laughs> -P -P but again we'll put everything down below but you want to go take a look at yeah, it yeah we'll go show you right. this can you guys see our reflection isn't it so pretty so thank you to new air um, you guys know that we like to feature products that we will get a use out of and that we think that our subscribers will get a use out of. So New Air reached out to us and um, asked us to do a review on their 60 can mini beverage fridge. So it's really nice. It's a perfect size. Um, it was pretty light, right? Like 35 yeah. pounds or something. Mm -hmm. And they gave it to us. We, they gave us this product. Yeah. Just to to let demo it know. and to give a review and to let you guys know. And again, down below will be a link if you do want to purchase this product. Um, it does hold 60 cans, it said. And I did get 60 cans in here, right? But I actually even had bottles, as you can see. But um, they disappeared because the kids found out where we put them. Yeah. In the garage. Uh -huh. We thought we would hide them in here in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. In the garage. And then they found out that the juices were missing and went on a hunt. Right. And they knew that we had gotten this. Yeah. So that's so, why they're missing. Yes. So we tried <laughs> to keep it stocked. Um, but it, it's been really convenient. And we'll put a clip in here, too. <laughs> Um, we've been grabbing stuff throughout the week, you know, when we don't want to go inside with our dirty shoes, we can just grab something to drink out of here. There is a knob on the back yeah, that you can actually it turn it up and down. And I didn't know that this was adjustable. Oh, really nice. Oh, the shelf? So, yeah, yeah, you can move it up one notch, right? No, I could actually even move it all the way up oh. if I wanted and um, just have like... I wonder if the mini cans would, no, the mini cans wouldn't fit, but eggs would fit up there. Yeah. Yeah. So as you all know, we are trying to up our game with the garden this year. And we really, really are trying to get something for the girls to be able to um, sit outside during the weekends at least. Yeah. Like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we're hoping if we're good with our schedule, we'll be able to be here more on the weekends to yeah. run this other business. We're starting with the farm and the flowers and the vegetables. Right. And it's it's a start. We're starting. So things aren't going to go perfect. Things aren't going to go smooth. No. We might not sell a ton of stuff. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah. But you know how it goes with weather and when we get busy, but we lightened our schedule so we could not work as much or be yeah. more efficient. But we're going to use this for what? We have 31 chickens, you guys. 31 chickens. And yes, we are a family of six, but 
we cannot possibly eat that many eggs. So, so we're going to put this out there too yeah. on the weekends for the kids to put the eggs in. And they did all their research. Mm -hmm. The kids are allowed to sell up to a 30 dozen I eggs think, a week before mm -hmm. they have to have them graded. Yeah. And so, I don't think that they're even going to get to that many. No. But um, even if we can sell, you know, five dozen a week, 10 dozen a week, that would be a huge, even a boost to just with their um, food production because we do feed them all organically. And yes, we supplement with our garden in the summer, but um, that food bill can get yes. quite pricey. And when you're a family of six eating that many eggs. Yeah, so. uh, we can't even do it. I mean, they do, the kids do love eggs and even our 13 year old will go out to the coop and come back in and cook an egg Yeah, or and cook two. himself an egg. He'll yeah. be frying an egg. Um, but it, it's just a lot of eggs. Yes. So. So we are going to definitely, this will be really nice because we won't have to open it and close it, open it and close it. The eggs will be right there and we can display a carton so that they can actually see what they're getting. And if you guys know, you don't have to chill your eggs when you're selling them. You, you can just take them out of the coop, wipe them off and sell them because yeah. they're fresh. But people tend to like clean eggs. Yeah, so, them. so this will allow us to be able to wash them mm -hmm. and put them in a cool place for us exactly. to be able to sell them out on the road instead of coming up to the house and yeah. grabbing a dozen eggs and running back down there. I was actually even thinking, to be honest with you, I could probably even fit a couple um, couple bundles of flowers if we wanted to keep them chilled. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we're de it's definitely going to get tons of views. So, again, thank you very much, Nowhere. We really are enjoying it already, and... Um, we look forward to just continuing to use it all summer. So let's go out there. I wanted to show you something else before we ended this video. Yeah. We're having a pest problem. Yes, but we do want to say, um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that notification button so you can get all our videos when yeah. we put them up. We post every day. Be happy. Or at least try, guys. Yes. Have, have a, a good, good night. night. So before I start bringing all this stuff in, I wanted to show you before we ended the video, um, we have a little bit of a pest problem. We think they're voles. They're brown little things that have short little stubby tails. Um, they look exactly like voles. I've never had a vole problem, but they seem to really like these flowers here and have been eating all these. Um, and, they, and they ate some of the lettuce. Where is that at? Oh, over here. So some of this lettuce here, they ate it all the way down to the ground, started eating some of the basil, but not all of it. So they don't really like basil, I guess. But, so we have to bring all this in. This is gonna be fun. So I'll give you guys this beautiful view to end the video. It's not gonna be so beautiful tomorrow.